Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. It's time for another SSD update. We've got a couple new, very exciting players, the Corsair Neutron GTX and the Plex Store M5P. Find out how these newcomers stack up against their older competition. Now, both of these new drives are using all new controller technology, so they are that we don't have any reference to compare them to in the past. What I'd like to start with is taking a closer look at the Plextor M5 Pro, the successor to the M3 Pro. Using an all new Marvell controller, their own custom firmware with TrueSpeed technology, which keeps the drive running in a like new condition, no matter how dirty or fragmented it gets, it'll always recover itself very quickly. And using the fastest Toshiba toggle NAND, the M5P actually delivers great performance in not only a consumer environment, but also even in an enterprise environment, which is something that can't really be said of any of the other SSDs that we're looking at here today. Now Corsair's new Neutron GTX and, well, their regular Neutron drive are extremely exciting because this is the first drive we've seen in the market with a Link A Media or LAMD controller. This is an exclusive partnership between Corsair and Link A, so it has been validated not only by Link A but also by Corsair. And we all know Corsair quality, whether it's cases, headsets, power supplies, memory, it covers the entire gamut of products almost in the PC enthusiast space. So my expectations is that as long as the performance there, this drive should be pretty much a killer. The Neutron GTX also uses the highest quality toggle NAND, and there are actually some similarities between these two drives. So compared to Sandforce drives, for example, which rely on compression algorithms to achieve their performance, neither of these drives is doing any time, type of real-time compression, which means that you'll get the full performance out of this drive regardless of what type of a workload you put on it, and they both have value versions available. So there's an M5S and there's also a regular Neutron if, you're not, if you don't want to pony up for the cream of the cream performance that comes with both of these premium drives. Now, Addo is one of our favorite benchmarks, and we're going to be showing you the results with most of the drives that are super competitive in the market today. So we'll start with the Neutron GTX. This is a reasonably high-priced SSD, but it's got outstanding performance to go along with it. So writes top out around 500 megabytes per second with reads at 550 megabytes per second. This is the limit of SATA 3 and we are right up against it. Now at very, very small block sizes, it doesn't perform as well as some of the other drives, but as soon as you get into some of the more reasonable size blocks, especially for writes, it is very fast starting at around four kilobytes. So we're gonna switch to our next drive here. Go with the 520. So the 520, we've all seen this before. This is a Sandforce drive. It is an extremely strong performer. Very, very strong writes, very strong reads, and pretty much, uh, yeah, five-year warranty, what you would expect from the 520. Now the M4 does not perform as well as some of the other drives in this test, particularly in writes. It's becoming a bit of a dated drive, but the price reflects that it is a more value-oriented drive these days. Although when it was released, it was a top performer. For the Plextor M5P, we see actually very, very good performance. And bear in mind, guys, we've changed our methodology a little bit. Every single one of these drives is more than half full before we actually run any benchmarking on it because we've seen that some manufacturers are doing some kind of monkey business where if the drive is less than half full, it is performing significantly better than if it's actually being used. So very, very strange stuff going on right there. So with the, yeah, this, it's a top performer at pretty much every block size. Remember the guys, though, this is a synthetic benchmark, so it's not necessarily indicative of the real world performance. It even pulls ahead of the venerable 830, especially in terms of write performance once the block sizes get larger. And last but not least, we've got the Vertex 4, which is somewhat inconsistent, especially in those smaller block sizes, and then evens out a little bit at the end. But let's wait and see how the real world, world benches go with PC Mark 7. Now the conclusion of this episode and after the PC Mark 7 results is actually pretty simple. What we've discovered is that with all of these players in the market, choice is never a bad thing and having more options is always thumbs up for the consumers because competition is good for you guys, that's for sure. So let's start with the Neutron GTX. It is right up there with the 520, which was not that long ago, the untouchable king of the castle in terms of performance. But what's impressive about the Neutron GTX is that this is a brand new firmware and controller with lots of room for more tweaking. It's just available on the market and it's already running with the top dogs. It's 
it's also doing it without any kinds of compression tricks. So that is the actual speed we're getting from controller to NAND and then back from NAND to controller and back to you again. So very, very impressed with this drive. It pulls within like, you know, 20 PC marks of the 520 on the secondary storage benchmark. The M4 legs behind a little bit. It's actually the slowest drive in our test, but once again, this reflects its value positioning in the market. And the 830 runs right in there with the Corsair GTX as well, a top performer with the GTX and the 520. Now the Plex store drive was a real surprise. This one pulled ahead of all of the drives in our PCMark 7 test and it looks like where it really had the biggest advantage is in starting applications of all things. So bear in mind, this is one of the things that'll make your system feel more responsive. So there's something to be said for hanging with everyone else in all of the other applications and then starting up programs being, well, the best. It's about 10% faster than anything else. So thank you for checking out our SSD update on especially featuring the new Corsair Neutron GTX and Plexstore M5P. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.